Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name's Natalie from Living the Dream Permaculture. It is the beginning of summer here in Gippsland, Victoria. We've had a few cold days, but it's starting to heat up again. We're in the middle of a La Nina, which means that we're getting a heap of rain, much more rain than we'll usually get, even though we are in a high rainfall area. And we are getting some nice sunny days, which I was a little bit concerned about, um, that we wouldn't be getting enough of those, because last summer we had a really cool summer and we had a lot of smoke haze from the um, intense Australian bushfires that we had in 2019 and 2020. So I had a lot of issues in my garden where things weren't really growing, things weren't really ripening. And I was worried when I um, found out that it was a La Nina that it might happen this year as well. We might be having a cooler summer, a really wet summer, which means a lot of clouds, and maybe things wouldn't grow as well as they usually do here in summer. But we seem to be having lots of sunny days, which is really nice. And um, with all the rainfall, it means that the ground's staying really nice and wet and I'm not having to water the garden, which is a huge blessing and frees up a heap of my time and resources. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was thinking about autumn in summer. It's just the beginning of summer, like I said, we're early December here. And I'm starting to think about what I'm going to start sowing now so they can grow up as seedlings and then plant them out in about March, the beginning of autumn. If I don't plant them in March, March and April, then I won't be harvesting throughout winter. I can still plant in May, but that means that I'll be harvesting that produce in late spring because I haven't got the heat and the sunshine um, at that time of year for things to really get growing and get a really head start. So my secret is in, for growing through winter, a lot of people ask me how I grow all my brassicas um, because I can grow really amazing cauliflowers where I am. My secret is, is getting your seeds in early. I start from late December and I plant my seeds throughout um, January, February and March and then I stop. There's no real point in me sowing any later than that because um, I get a lot of white butterflies here as you can probably see in the background and I don't have any exclusion nets. Um, I could probably put in exclusion nets which means that I could extend my um, growing season. It's not so much the heat where I do have some issues with things bolting, some things I can keep growing without bolting. Um, my biggest issue is the cabbage butterflies, the white cabbage moths. And um, they lay all their eggs on my cabbages and then their um, larvae or their little caterpillar, like this one here, will crawl in the leaves and eat it and eat all big holes in it. And sometimes they can just decimate seedlings. So I don't really like growing um, my brassicas much later than we are now. Everything is maturing now and they can resist the pest attacks. While I do have some holes in the leaves, I, can, I still have the head of the cabbage, which is totally fine. And if they do eat some of those other leaves, the plant's not gonna struggle because there's so much foliage there that it can still capture the sunlight. So I start my seeds from December to March, and then I plant my seedlings from March to April, maybe early May, depending on the season. If I plant it early May, I'm not gonna be harvesting that until now, which is fine. That's the whole point of this is to extend my harvest. I'm also, I also need to think about keeping some veggie beds free. This is something I always struggle with at this time of year. I like to fill everything up because growing in summer is such a pleasure and um, it's so bountiful and so abundant. So I usually fill up every um, square meter I can and I've got about 750 square meters, which is quite a substantial um, garden. It's the size of a large suburban block. And that's um, not including my orchards. I've got several acres of orchards here. So I really need to start thinking about keeping a bed free so I can start getting seedlings in the ground in a few months time. I do have one bed that I was going to plant some corn in, but I'm now reconsidering that. I'm wondering if I just cover it with my Hessian bags and let it rest for a bit um, so that once March comes, I can get my um, advanced brassica seedlings in the ground. I will probably still have to put an exclusion net on because it will still be warm and we'll still have the white cabbage moss hanging around because that's just how it happens here. Um, what else do I need to think about coming into autumn? I think my biggest thing is the brassica seedlings. Everything else is fairly quickly grow, fairly fast growing. Brassicas do take the longest, so things like Brussels sprouts and cauliflowers and cabbages, the big cabbages. Um, so they're the things that I really want to start now in summer. 
The smaller cabbages, like the early Jersey Wakefield, they're the little cone ones. They grow super quick, so I don't mind planting them out um, starting in March, and then I'll do another round um, beginning of spring. So um, I'm really concerned about the slow growing brassicas at the moment. I'll probably start needing to clear out my hot house. We're about to get into the crazy season. So summer and autumn are crazy here because I'm harvesting every day, I'm harvesting big amounts and I need to preserve them. So I've got food to eat throughout winter. So I need to clean out my hot house while I still have a week or two in the lull period. Um, it's just the waiting game at the moment, waiting for everything to get ready. Um, so I want to clean out my hot house, make sure there's space in there so I can grow in there. It won't always be closed up because um, when I get to about 20, 25 degrees Celsius, I do like to open the door up, otherwise I do fry my seedlings. Um, but I also want to make sure my pots are ready, they're all handy, and that I've got potting mix ready to go. And of course I've got my seeds, especially in times like these at the moment. Seeds are super hard to get um, a hold of. Uh, we have seen most of the seeds restocked um, here in Australia, but uh, I noticed that quite a few things are still out of stock and hard to come by. So if you haven't thought about your autumn harvests um, or your autumn seeds, I would certainly be purchasing um, any seeds you need now. Um, so all your brassicas, your greens, onions, garlic will be coming up for sale in a few months. So think about that. Last year I sold out of garlic. I sold over a thousand bulbs in about two weeks. You can start thinking about making a compost pile. Um, I like to make hot compost. I will be making a video on how I make that very shortly. Um, I don't put as much compost on in autumn as I do in spring. Spring everywhere gets a really thick layer, but in autumn um, I'll add compost to the beds that are really deficient or um, they look like the soil is a bit depleted. Instead of being nice and loose and soft, you can kind of see that it loses a lot of its finer texture and kind of is just hard and gross. So they're, they're the beds that I'll add a thin layer of compost on and I will re-mulch as well. So something I need to think about because I do use a lot of mulch um, is getting my hands on some more straw. Um, straw can be hard to come by, especially at that time of year. And there's none super close, <laughs> super close to me. Um, I do have to drive about 40 minutes to get um, my straw bales. Something else you might want to think about at this time of year is getting enough jars to preserve your summer harvest. Uh, autumn, like I said, is just crazy. It's, it's the worst month for preserving because I'm in the kitchen every day. I'm harvesting big baskets full of food and I need to put them up because there's no point growing all this food if I'm not going to preserve it. So um, I need to think if there's enough jars and enough space to store everything. And if I've got enough things like sugar, salt and vinegar, which are my main staples in um, preserving all my food at that time of year. There are some spices that I used to, um, so pepper, cinnamon, clove, they're all um, important things, all spice, um, important things at that time of year that I use in my preserves. Um, I grow my own bay leaves, but if you don't, bay leaves, um, they go in, they go in pickled beetroot. You could probably put, put them in pickles as well. I need to think about sowing some more dill because I'm going to have a heap of cucumbers coming up soon and I want to make some dill pickles. So even though it's the beginning of summer, it's really important to start thinking about your autumns and your winter um, seasons and thinking ahead and thinking what you need. One of my biggest pitfalls in the past has been leaving my autumn sowing until autumn and going, oh my gosh, things aren't growing quickly enough. If I get this in the ground now, they're not going to put on any growth until spring. So it's really important if you want to be self-sufficient to start having that um, foresight and start thinking about what you're going to be harvesting in the months to come and what you need to plant to make sure that happens. So for me, my most important month is winter because it is so slow here. It's cool temperate. It gets fairly cold um, for Australia. And while I can grow, if I don't get my timing impeccable, uh, it's just not worth it. So I need to make sure that everything is in the ground at the right time and that I've got everything in place to make that happen. So I hope this helps you in planning for your autumn harvest and your winter harvest. Helps you start thinking um, into the future and what you might need to do to get your garden growing, not just for now, but in the, in the seasons to come. Because if you do want to be self-sufficient, it's really important to get into that mindset. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Living the Dream Permaculture. Bye.